We're here today in the chapel of Magdalen College, Oxford, where Phantasm is going to record the second volume of the Well-Tempered Consort. And this is music by Johann Sebastian Bach, originally for keyboard, which I've transcribed for viol consort. In a consort, we have different sizes of viols, treble, tenor, and bass, and they're all held between the legs, and they all make a very similar sound, and they blend in the most extraordinary way, and the resonance is quite special. Not only is there a blend, but there's also at the same time a kind of individuality that each player's personality can come out and converse with the other in the most marvelous way. So we're here at Magdalen College, Oxford, and this chapel really favors a lyricism and an openness as well that I think is very striking. The acoustic is special because it has a clarity and an honesty and at the same time a warmth and an intimacy, and that's rare to find. What we've been trying to do with this entire project is to relate the works of Bach with its pure polyphony, with its equal mini-voicedness to our own English repertoire of consort music written by people like Byrd and Purcell and Laws. And this music is much more sophisticated and Bach writes in a way as a, for a kind of ideal dancer and singer. He's always thinking of the character of an individual line. And surprisingly, we are making these discoveries that have been just sitting there on the page, waiting to be unveiled. These discoveries only take place when we make the music as chamber music. So we have these debates about, is this a, a piece about mystery? Or is this about a shepherd that is bemoaning the loss of a lover? We start experimenting with the characters, and then you can see things that are right in the music that demand to be sort of dressed up and put on stage. There have been some amazing surprises. One piece which I thought was going to be lovely, short, snappy, delightful little moment turned into something rather more like a rumination on severe loss and mourning, and it, it really surprised me a lot. Bach is the great composer for really dealing with joy, tragedy, the full range of emotions. Someone that digs deep into the human experience. Life and death and suffering and rebirth and how human beings connect to one another. I really hope that listeners will be able to come to this uh, and, and hear this, this journey, but also experience it as something very personal for themselves, something that will give them some nurture in these sad and distracted times.